United Nations headquarters in New York Monday, where business wasn't quite as usual. Though some things did remain the same, a cast from around the world and a series of frantic behind-the-scenes activity. But this wasn't foreign affairs, but fashion. The occasion, the debut of internationally acclaimed fashion designer Jamal Tazlak's Fall Winter Collection. An event organized as part of the International Year of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. Tazlak was born in Nablus, Palestine, and his collection is inspired by and features traditional Palestinian dresses and embroidery. Though Jamal is now based in Italy, his homeland is ever-present in his work. It's a pleasure for me this evening to present my people with the, this kind of art that uh, I think it's a message for my people, for my country, also for myself. It's a way to show the world the other face of Palestine. His success, he says, has inspired him to try and help others. When I meet many people in Palestine, in the camps, where there, I tell everybody, you must to do what you want to do. It's important because I know many people live in in not good situation, but with little help, I think if everybody can help these people, we can they can do more and more. The art and culture of the region can be neglected among the news headlines, emphasized Stephen Sequeira, the committee secretary for the UN Committee on the Exercise of the Inalienable Rights of the Palestinian People. Today we're trying to showcase uh, the vitality and the creativity of the Palestinian people. I think what's important uh, in this uh, long conflict is that the Palestinians are often portrayed as people who are suffering, refugees, people who are displaced. And I think what we're trying to show here is the other side of the Palestinian people, the creativity, the vitality, the joy for life, and their ability to uh, be resilient in the face of great hardship. And as models strutted down the catwalk, the sharp suits and glamorous evening gowns couldn't help but dominate the room. The last piece, a show-stopping wedding dress, sewed with beads of olive wood, inlaid with stones of gold, ivory and mother of pearl, and finished with silk thread. A fitting end to a night that showed how diplomats and dresses may seem to make for an unlikely marriage, but certainly a successful one.